Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the Sword of Perseus. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the Design Spark mechanical program. We'll go to File, we'll say New, New Design. Uh, we're going to come down here and click this eye icon to make it a plan view. We're going to minimize, and we're going to drag in our reference file doesn't really matter how big we're going to make this. If you want to go ahead and use it, you could always scale it up. So we're going to click on it, hit move, and then we're going to grab the blue arrow and we're going to rotate it just a little bit. Right there. Okay, so now we're going to start off with a handle. We're going to control plus, two control pluses to pan up, and then we're going to pan down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create this round circle here, horseshoe. So we'll go ahead and click there. We'll scale this up to 0.514. We'll click. I'm going to draw a second circle. We're going to scale that up to 0.301. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our line tool, and we're going to do a line right across and we'll go ahead and get, grab our trim away tool. I'm going to trim away these right here. So now we have our one piece. Okay, now we're going to draw half of this and then we're going to revolve it around. This, this horseshoe is going to get extruded. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, this got kind of a arc to it. So we're going to go put a line down the middle here. And then we'll go ahead and select the click off. Now we're going to grab the line tool again. We're going to come from here, kind of up to here like this. And we're going to come in. And we're going to go out a little bit. And we're going to come up. We're going to go out a little bit. And we're going to put a Finishing line on that. It's going to be kind of something like this. And we'll just revolve that around. So let's go ahead and grab our trim away tool. Click there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and um, control plus to zoom in. We're going to pan up. I'm going to go ahead and create these circles here. So let's go ahead and put a line in here. I'm going to go from the center there up to here. Okay, click off. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do a, a, a circle in the middle here. Okay, that circle is going to be 0. 0. 0.064. Now we're going to click on the move tool. No, actually, that's pretty good. That's that's in the center there. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to say move. We're going to come down here and create pattern. Then we're going to drag this down to here. And we're going to let's create a few of these. All right. So we'll go. Let's go back tab. Tab, tab, we're going to go four. Actually, you know what? I needed more of these. So let's undo. Let's go eight. Let's go 16. Okay, 16 is good. Go ahead and select enter to select off. Now we're going to get rid of this one here. We're going to get rid of that one there. It looks like these. this is good enough amount. Uh, let's go control minus. Let's drag a marquee around these. Get rid of these. Okay. I'm going to start drawing our, uh, our blade out. Go ahead and get the line tool. I actually want to put an arc in there. So we'll go ahead and get our three point arch. We'll go from. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's 
get rid of this line, control minus. Let's go ahead and put a, another line in there from here and then control minus, control minus. We'll go all the way down to the tip and then we'll select off, we'll control plus, control plus to zoom in. Now we're going to get our three point arch. We'll go from here to here. We're going to bow that in a little bit. Let's pan up. Okay, let's get our line tool. We're going to go from here. Kind of come out a little bit with this. Okay, control minus. Now we're going to come. Let's just pan that right there. Let's control plus. I'll kind of give this a pan. I'm actually supposed to be revolving this. So let's go, let's do undo, undo, undo. Okay. Get back to this line that you just created. I'm going to right mouse click on that, set as mirror line. And then we're going to pan up, make sure that the line goes all the way down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, get our three point arch. We're going to go from there in. Just Bow that in a little bit. Now we're going to get our straight line. We're going to come from in here. Let's bow this out a little bit. Control minus. Control minus. And let's go ahead and select off. Let's control plus to zoom in a couple times. Let's pan this up. Okay, we're ended. we ended there, so let's pan up a little bit more so we can see the tip. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get our three-point arch. We're going to go from the end point there down to here, and then we're going to bow this out a little bit. It's okay if it's bowed out a little bit. All right there, that's good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click on the graphic, hit delete. Go ahead and click on that mirror line and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and pan up, make sure this is good. That's actually not sure if that's straight or not. I guess it is. We um we did create that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull. Let's pull this handle, hit the revolve. We're gonna go from here, and then we're gonna do full pull. That's going to be our handle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Go ahead and pull. We're going to pull that. We're going to pull, click on both sides. And then we're going to drag that out a little bit. 0 0.120. Let's select off of it. That's a decent amount. Let's control plus. Control plus. We're going to go ahead and grab these. We're going to select all of them. Okay, now we're going to go select pull. We're going to pull from both sides. And then we're going to drag these out a little bit. Not sure if I want these to come in a little bit or go out a little bit. I think they need to come in a little bit. So we'll go right there. So they're inset a little bit. Okay, now we'll control minus. Go ahead and click on our blade. Let's give this a little spin. We're going to pull. We're going to pull from uh, both sides. So go ahead and check that one. Then we're going to go about 0.04. Okay, so I like to click off. Let's spin this to make sure it's not too thick. Doesn't look too thick to me. All right, so let's start putting in our detail. Let's go control minus. Let's go ahead and pan over. Let's pull. I'm going to pull this handle a little bit thinner. Let's go 0 0.013. All right, let's go ahead and spin that. The reason I did that. And so I can go ahead and add um, 
a chamfer to this side, this piece right here. We're going to go ahead and add a chamfer to that. So we're going to select till everything is selected, and then we're going to hit chamfer. And then we're going to pull that in a little bit. We're going to pull it into 0.010. Okay, now we're going to spin this around. We're going to do the same on the other side. Go ahead and pull. Select till everything is selected. Check on the chamfer. And then we're going to pull this 0.010. Okay. Now let's pan down. Spin this a little bit. And then we're going to put a a radius here so it's not a weak spot. And we click and drag. To 0.010. I do need to pull this out a little bit more. So we're going to go to pull. We're going to select here. We're going to drag that. Actually, you know what? I need to select both of these. So hold down the control key. Go to pull. I'm going to pull that out to 0 0.004. I just don't want this this part to be messed up. Okay, so now we're going to spin this around. We're going to do the same on this back side. So go ahead and click select that. Also, let's select the chamfer plus this. The control key held down. Go ahead and spin that. All right, let's go to pull. Let's pull this one out. Oh point oh oh four was what we did on the front. So we're going to select off. We're going to make sure that those radiuses are good. Okay. So now we're going to pan down on this. We're going to add some uh, details in here. So we're going to click and drag 0 0.010. We're going to put one in here, fill it in here. 0 0.010. I'm going to add one here. 0 0.010. Then we're going to pan down. We'll spin a little bit. Let's grab one on the top. We're going to add. 0.010 there. Now we're going to go to view from the top. Okay, this is our sword of Perseus. So we're going to control plus. We're going to spin this. We've got to put our chamfer in there. So we're going to pull. Let's get the control key down. Let's control. Let's get that piece there. Control minus, so that's the whole thing. So we'll control plus, control plus. Then we're going to pull and we're going to change it from a fillet to a chamfer. And then we're going to pull this side here. Okay, it's not gone, so we might have to do a piece at a time. So let's go ahead and pan down with this. Let's go ahead and pull that piece. And pull that piece. I'm going to change it to chamfer. And then we'll go to 0 0.02. Okay. Now we're going to pan up or pan up here. Now we're going to get this pull here. Let's go ahead and change the chamfer. Point oh two. All right, looks good. Okay, now let's spin this around. Do the same on the back side. We'll grab these two, change the chamfer, drag out to zero point oh two. All right. Spin that, make sure it's pointed. Okay, it is. Now we're going to go ahead and pan up. Okay, let's get the pull tool. 
pull there, make sure it changed it to chamfer. It's not wanting to go. Let's Let's pan up. Okay, let's uh, pull. Select that corner. Make it a chamfer. Looks like it's wanting to move, but there it is. Okay. Alright, so that looks good. So let's go down, pan down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spin that. We're going to put a chamfer here and here. Hold down the control key, change to the chamfer. 0 0.20. I'm going to spin this around and do the back right away. Hold down control key, change the chamfer. 0 0.020. Okay, now let's uh, pan this up. Get that last little piece there, so we'll pull. Click there, click there to make it change from champ to chamfer. Point oh two oh. I think this is correct. Let's spin it. Okay, this one didn't get added, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. We'll say pull, select pull, change the chamfer. There it is, 0 0.020. All right, so let's spin this, make sure that all the edges got done. Looks like they did. Let's go ahead and view from top. Okay, let's control plus, control plus twice. Let's pan down. I'm gonna put some details in these, control plus. Give this a little bit of a spin. I'm going to go ahead and select these and we're going to add a uh, let's undo let's spin this I'm going to have to pull up on this this little horseshoe here because Not sure I'm going to be able to fix this. Let's go here to top. Let's go to control plus, control plus, control plus, three control pluses. Let's pan down. Seems to me like these, these little lines here are not completely centered. So let's go select all of these, see if I can move them. Let's go to move. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to move them, I don't think. Um, yeah, they're just offset just a little bit too much. I wonder if I can actually make them smaller. Let's see. Let's spin. Let's pull. See if I can make them smaller. Looks like I might have to just leave them. Let's go ahead and spin this. Just trying to figure out a way that I might be able to. Uh, I can make these smaller. Okay. 
So let's go 0 0.002. Let's see if that makes much of a difference. Yep, that might work. All right, so what I'm going to do is pull. So let pull, click right there, type in 0 0.002. Ooh, something happened that disappeared. Okay, I'm going to just try the manual pull. Click on there. 0 0.002. And we'll just have to do that for all of these. 0 0.002. 0 0.002. Okay, there's a couple of these didn't get didn't get size, so we'll go here. Spin that, make sure I'm going in the right direction. Looks like I might be doing this the hard way. Let's just go ahead and go to top. Control plus, control plus. Go ahead and pan down. Control plus. These just don't seem. I don't like the position of these, so I'm not really sure as much I can do about it right now since I'm there we go. I'll just make them smaller. O point oh one. These all let's see. Let me see if I can. Okay, that messed it up. Let's undo, select, undo. Let's go to the uh, 3D mode. Yeah, let's just let's just undo until we get back to where we were. All right, let's go ahead and spin this. Okay, these are okay. These are okay. Yeah, you know, the only other thing I can think to do to make them smaller is just to go ahead and. Click right there and then just pull like 0 0.008 on each of these. And we'll figure this out. All right, I think this is going to work. OK, so we'll go ahead and do those 0 0.008. That way I can put the, um, the chamfer on them that I wanted to. So let's pan over. Let's go ahead and do the same on these. So let's spin, and then we'll be done. Go ahead and pull. 0.08. Problem is, is they want it. They want to uh, size a little. They want to go larger and then smaller. So I just have to make sure that I'm doing this correctly, and they'll they'll come out okay. All right. So let's let's go ahead and put um. Yeah, let's put a uh, 0 0.01 chamfer on these. That'll actually look good.
go 0 0.01. 0 0.01. I'm just typing the number in now, so it goes a little bit quicker. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and spin this around to the back. We're going to do the back side of these. Okay, let's pan this over. All right, let's pull this. Type in 0 0.01. Ooh, something happened there. Let's spin this around again. Let's pan this over. Click off. Let's pull, get the pull. Type in 0 0.01. Go to the next one, 0 0.01. Okay, we're almost done here. Okay. There we go. Looks like this is all finished. The only other thing I want to do to this is put a fillet in here so it's not a weak spot. Not a chamfer. We're going to change that. Let's go to pull. Let's click on there. Let's change that from uh, a chamfer to a round. And then we're going to put a, an 0 0.01 fillet in there. So it isn't a, it's not a weak spot because it's a straight line on a straight line is not a good idea. Oh point oh one. Okay. Looks pretty good. We'll spin this around, do the same thing on the back. Do this one first. Actually, you know what? Let's undo that. Let's undo these. And then just triple click till everything is selected and then deal with it all at once. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Let's spin this, make sure. Okay, that looks good. The only other thing I want to do is add chamfers to these. So hold down the control key. Change from round to chamfer. 0 0.01. Let's go to view from top. All right, that's going to be our sword of Perseus. Go a couple of uh, control pluses. Let's pan. Make sure this looks good. Looks good on as far as there. I will put a radius fillet in here. Let's go put a decent size one in there. 0.15. Let's pan down. This stuff looks good. Only other thing I might do is pull pull this up here. Pull that up a little bit. Give it some more. Okay, that looks good. Let's control minus, control minus. Let's go to view from the top, ortho view. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, that's going to be the Sword of Perseus with the Horseshoe uh, Guard. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Okay, thanks for watching.